Welcome to class. My name is Bianca and let's get started on our backs today. Please make your way there. Just start to lay down. And allow your feet to rest onto the earth. Let your whole back rest onto the mat. Place one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. And then start to breathe. Exhale out all your air. Let it go. Nice. Inhale, full breath in. Audible exhale. Good. So just listen to your body here. Breathe in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Allowing a relaxation to take over. Each time you breathe here, let your rib cage expand. Let your belly rise. Just feel the relaxation start to take over. So relax your face. Soften through your jaw. Allow the eyelids to be closed and soft. And then feel any tension release here from your jaw area, your shoulders, your back. And then if you haven't yet, I'd like to invite you to breathe in and out through the nose. Creating that steady rhythm in and out of the breath. Just a few more calming your nervous system. Perhaps you've been working, busy or not busy. Just taking this time for yourself. And even though there may be distractions of sounds of people or animals moving around you, you're just going to create your own space to practice. All right, from here, take a deep breath in, reach the arms overhead, big stretch. And exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Start to rock side to side. Just massage the low back. And then from here, plant your feet onto the ground, preparing for our bridge pose with your hips up. Hands can support you on the mat here. Elevate those hips, point your knees forward. Exhale, lower straight down. And then inhale, lift your hips up for bridge. Exhale, slowly lower. Good, one more, inhale, lift up. And exhale, bring it down. All right, inhale the arms overhead. As you do that, lift the hips up. And then exhale, lower the hips as you lower the arms. Softly coming into your breath body connection. Inhale up. And exhale, lower. Good. One more. Inhale up. Exhale, slowly lower. And draw the knees in. Take a happy baby this time. Welcome to class if you're just hopping in. And start to sway side to side. Here, just letting your inner thighs start to stretch out. Allow your knees to hug the outsides of your rib cage. And then when you're ready, come back to stillness. Let's stretch just the right side. Extend the right leg, hug in your left knee. And then switch, right knee in, left leg out. Good, one more on each side. Hug your left heel in, extend the right heel out. And then hug the right heel in, extend the left heel out. Nice, good. Bring the knees in. Extend the arms out to a T, and then exhale, both knees go to the left. Gaze to the right. Easy supine twist here. And then both knees to the right as you gaze left. Good, bring the knees in. Rock and roll forward and back. And then please find your tabletop here at your own timing.
coming on to all fours. It's nice to see you all. Happy Friday. Start to add your cat and cows. Inhale, lift your tail, lift your gaze. Exhale, round your back for cat. Timing your movements with your breath. Freeing up your spine, just letting your shoulders to open up, your chest, your ribs. And then I invite you now to add some hip circles here, moving around your space, exploring the edges of your mat with your hips. And then letting any tension and stress go through, just focusing on the breath. Noticing the warming up of your wrists. Good. All right, we'll bring it back to a mini child's pose. So we're not going all the way back. So just sit back with the hips. And then inhale, settle forward for your seal pose. Let your thighs rest. Support yourself with your palms. Bend your knees. Exhale, sit right back to your seal pose, or rather child's pose. And then inhale forward for your seal. Good, just a few more here, loosening up now through the front and back lines of the body. Making sure you're constantly breathing. Good. And then slowly release to child's pose. Then walk yourself up to your downward facing dog. Elevate your hips. Start to pedal it out. Bend one knee, bend the other. And then we'll take it up. Look forward, walk all the way to the middle, please. Halfway lift, inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Good, rise up. Elevate the arms overhead, gaze up. And exhale, hands to your heart space. Good, relax your arms by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms high. Nice, thank you all for joining. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good, two more. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart. Last one. Inhale, reach, stretch overhead. And exhale, hands to heart. Good work. Inhale, reach overhead. This time, use your right hand, hold onto your left wrist. Take a side bend to the right. Keep your toes pointed forward here. Nice and strong with the legs. Inhale, center. And exhale to the left. Use your left hand, hold onto your right wrist. Keep breathing. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend your knees, forward fold. We'll be here for a bit. Just let your head and neck release. And feel a bend in your knees if this is quite a lot for the hamstrings. Settle in, shake your head yes or no, whatever feels good. And then inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Good, inhale, rise up. Reach high. Okay, starting with our right arm, please. So place your left hand onto your right hip. And I'm gonna turn this way. Okay, and then from here, we'll take some circles with our right arm. So I'm mirroring you here, just to reach up, around, and over. So. Here we're just trying to open up here through our right shoulder. Take a few different circles and I want you to maximize that range of motion. So moving slowly and then trying to stretch out the underarms, the side body. About two more. And last one. All right, good. Then take your right hand, hold onto your left hip. Starting with the left arm, reach up. Exhale, circle the arm back. Inhale, reach up. And exhale back. So try your best to keep your hips pointing forward and your chest. So just trying to create some space through the left side body, your left underarm, your left shoulder blade. If that hurts at all, you can bend your left elbow. Inhales as you lift the arm. And exhales as you lower. Good. Two more. 
and one more. Good, inhale, reach both arms up. And then this time, let's please take a back bend here, go close to arms, open up the chest, bend your knees if needed, allow your zipper to point forward, and then inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart space. Good, start moving on to our neck, tuck your chin. Start to find some stretches here, circle one way, up, to the left, and then down. Get a few more here. Same side, just let your you know, neck muscles try to relax, try to release any tension. Good. And then when you find yourself back upright, switch to the other direction. Left, up, back, and then forward, continuing on to the left, up, to the right, and forward. Good, two more. Just loosening up, try to relax your jaw, and then return to center. All right, now look over to the right shoulder, hold it there, try to relax your shoulders, and then look over towards the right, stretching, hopefully your, your chin is aligned with your right shoulder, and then inhale, center, taking it to the left, chin lines up with your left shoulder this time. Stretching now the connective tissues along your neck. Good. Inhale, center. Reach the arms up. And then exhale, sit down to your chair pose. Arms back for this one. A little bit of a just warming up of the legs. Angle your hips further back so you have less weight in your toes. And when you're ready, rise up to standing. Exhale, walk your feet wide. Find your frog pose and sit down. Good. Try to have your elbows to the inside of your thighs. Gaze forward. Little six of air. And then slowly lift yourself up. Point your toes forward. Find your wide-legged forward fold. And then let your body just hang heavy here in space. Just feeling the stretch in the hamstrings as much as you can. Okay, so we're set to flow through that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hug the heels in, toes out, sit down into your frog, and then lift those hips up as you elevate the hips and you bow forward. Inhale, sit down into your frog, and then exhale, straighten the legs. Good. Hands to your hips, bend the knees, rise up, and take the arms out to a T. All right, now, please extend the arms overhead, find star pose, heels in, toes out, Grow a little bit longer and exhale, hug your knees in and take your, or hug your knees out and take your hands onto your thighs. Now I'd please like you to stretch now through the shoulders, right side and left. As you allow your inner thighs to feel the stretch and you press onto your thighs for more support. Good work, stand up, arms out to a T again. And then exhale, bring the feet together. Release your hands to your heart space as we start to sit back into our second chair pose. Reach the arms up overhead for your chair. Lightness in your toes. Sit a bit deeper. And exhale, stand straight up. Okay, now hands to your hips. Starting off with the right knee, inhale the right knee high. Okay, just hold this balance. Just observe, perhaps gaze forward. Feel your core activating. And then you'll release that right leg. Sit down into your chair. Inhale the left knee up and hold. Breathe. Spread your right toes, press into the right big toe. And then you'll slowly release that, good. All right, now please balance on to lift the right knee again, holding on to the left balance. And then please, let's go ahead and take circles with your right knee. So activating your muscles in the inner thighs. If balance is a challenge for you today, just please hold on to something nearby, like a bar, furniture, 
Give just a few more, circling this right knee out. And then we'll bring it down. Switch, inhale the left knee up. So if balance again is a challenge, you can simply just hold here, or if you're ready to take your circles, extend your left knee out, side. Just find your concentration here. Your right glute is working, your right inner thigh, your core. Good, two more. And there you find yourself back down. Sit down to your chair, inhale the arms up, and then exhale, crawl down to the floor, hands down. Find a crouch and curl here. Tuck your chin, and then look right and left. Stretching here through the neck, your shoulders. Good, slowly release the heels, step back, lower the left knee, and rise up for your crescent moon shape. So find your right knee forward, your left knee down on the ground, elevate the arms high, spread the right toes. Interlace your hands, please, and take it above your right thigh. Feeling here your left hip flexor. Spread the right toes. Good stretching out. Allow your hips to start to be low towards the ground. And then inhale, lift up your arms, elevate. Exhale, we'll take a twist. Right arm back, left arm forward. And then from here, and you can take it a little bit deeper if you wish, hugging the left elbow to your right thigh for your twist with your hands to your heart space, or you can simply extend the arms out to a T. Spread the toes, find a bit more depth. And then from here, left, right hand to sacrum, left arm high. Here you go, find your back bend. Exhale, bring two down to the ground. Hands down for your half splits. Okay, flex your right toes. You feel the stretch here through your right hamstring. Gaze forward. If it feels good, you can start to bow your chest towards your thigh. Otherwise, you'll stay lifted. Breathing a few more, maybe relaxing your palms down. Just feeling the depth of your chest, the stretch in the hamstring. And then from here, slowly bend the right knee and take yourself towards the right. Find your runner's lunge. Inner thighs will now feel the stretch. Really nice after sitting down or any exercising that you've been doing. Then just observe where you feel it. Maybe it's the right side, the groin area, or it's your left hip flexor, your left quad. And then from here, please inhale the right arm high. You can reassess your stance and then transfer your weight into your right foot as you bend your left knee, going in for your quad stretch. Gaze to the right. Keep drawing your left heel in. Exhale, slowly release. Good, plant your palms, tuck your left toes, and then hold here in your lifted runner's lunge. The left knee is off the ground. Take a few breaths. And let's find our pyramid pose. Put your right foot forward, drop your left heel, and let your whole body relax forward, stretching your right hip foot or right hamstring a bit more. On the inhale, lift yourself up for warrior one. And then exhale, step forward, arms up, look up, and bring your hands to your heart. Getting ready, inhale, reach, reach the arms up, gaze up. Exhale, crouch and curl, round up into a little ball. And then from here, drop your heels, step back. That right knee comes down, lift the arms high, second side. Align your hips. Keep your chest open, nice and broad. And then interlace your hands around your left thigh here. as you breathe and then take a moment to feel your hips on that right side 
if you need some padding, you can just double pad your right knee. A few more breaths. And slowly peel away, inhale the arms high. And then from here, let's go in for a twist. That left arm goes to the side, J's to the left. And then now you can just study the pose, whether you want to take it deeper by bending the right elbow, bringing your hands to your heart space, or you want to keep the arms extended and keep the inner thighs active so that your right knee doesn't take too much pressure. Good, one more breath, maybe J's to the left hand. Good, the left hand sacrum, the right arm goes high, find your back bend, maybe lean the right shoulder back, and exhale, hands to the ground, slide your right knee back, slide your left heel forward, find your half splits. Just leaning into it, elongating through the spine, flex your left toes, slow and steady. giving this side as much attention as the left, or the right rather. And then if you can, you'll release those palms down in a little bit more depth into your chest. Maybe relax your neck, your chin tucks in a bit. Few more breaths as you are just try to settle in to the stretch make sure you're breathing deeply and then inhale gaze forward slide your left foot to the side now place your hands to the ground and on the inside of your left foot and find your runner's stand so here you can scoot your knees or your foot wherever you need i want you to just focus on Letting the hips settle down while you support yourself with your hands. There's no need to go down to the elbows here. Otherwise, if you really would like to, that's available. And then here, taking some time to feel out your hips. Good, two more breaths. Nice, and then right hand goes a slightly bit forward. Tuck your right toes if needed. Inhale the left arm, and then take your quad stretch. Find your gaze, maybe straight down to the right, maybe up to the left. And finding this quad stretch here, the left heel will travel towards the glute. And you'll also feel that shoulder stretch. And try not to lock out your right shoulder or your right elbow. And then you'll slowly release that. Take your hands to the ground, tuck your right toes, stay lifted in your runner's lunge. Relax into it, allow the shoulders to be strong and then slide your left foot in. As you lower the right heel, find your pyramid pose. Legs are straight. The key difference here is your right heel is down and you both of all 10 toes are trying to point forward while you find this left heel being ahead of the right. Just a few more breaths in your pyramid pose on the left. When you're ready, inhale, bend the left knee, rise up, warrior one. Arms up. Settle into the hips. And then exhale, step forward. Inhale, arms up and exhale, hands to your heart space. Knees lower down, crowd through curl, little ball. And then if you can, lower down to your seat. Our first boat pose of class, lift your knees, open up through the chest. Maybe you can straighten out the legs if that was enough hamstring stretching for you. Yeah, good, working on our core. Keep lifting, if this, if you find it rather hard to Keep the chest open and upright, bend those knees or lower the heels and shift forward, okay? So take your pick, strengthening the core, good, arms straight, 
and exhale, plant the hands, plant the feet, rise up, chair pose, and exhale, stand straight up. That was excellent. Inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, hands to heart. We're starting off with our first balance again, right knee high, and exhale, take your figure four. Hands can remain at your heart space. Another option that feels really nice is forearm to your shin. Although if that ruins the balance, just return back. You want to really lean into the bend in the left thigh. Your glutes are gonna reach back. Your chest will start to reach forward while your chin tucks in. Nice. And then inhale, right knee up. Exhale, slow release. Other side, inhale, lift the left knee. Exhale to your figure four. Sometimes balance feels different each day. Some days may feel quite really strong. Some days feel a bit more unbalanced. That's just everything is life. Just go with it, breathe. And then shins and elbows can tuck if you'd like. Any other variations are welcome, as long as you're breathing and you're refining your posture, your chest is open, your gaze is steady. Nice. All right. Inhale the left knee and exhale, release. All right. Now, lift the right foot up for your tree. Interlace your hands, please. And then have the inner palms to face up in your tree variation. You got it. Stay strong. Lean into the evenness of your hips. Strengthen the left leg. And then we'll slowly release hands and the right knee. Good. Left side. Inhale the left foot up for tree. Start it off. Again, interlace your hands, and then the inside of your hands presses up. And then just remember, keep steady, find your gaze, concentrate, spread the right toes. Please do your breathe. Stand strong, stand tall, even if you fall out, it's okay. And then very slowly release hands and feet. Good work. All right. Playing around a little bit, inhale the right knee up, and then exhale, hands to hips. Slide the right heel back as you reach forward with the chest. Okay, good. Inhale, right knee up, and exhale, so forward. Continuing to work on balance here, inhale, right knee up, and then exhale, lean forward. Good. Stand up, release the hands, arms up, and exhale, hands to heart. Other side, hands to hips, lift the left knee. Exhale, press the left heel back as you lean forward with the chest. Good work, inhale up. Exhale, lean. Inhale up. Almost there, exhale, lean. Good, inhale up. Arms up, and then exhale, slowly release back. Adding on, inhale, chair pose. And then this time, eagle arm. So right arm goes underneath, that left leg goes on top. Cross up the legs, <laughs> find your footing. Remember, you can always kickstand your toes to the ground. Okay, stay upright, or if you want, you can go elbows and knees. Connecting into a sleeping eagle pose, or you can just stay up in regular eagle. Either way, stay strong. Okay, listen, keep the arms right knee up, right knee up, and then exhale to your eagle arm warrior three. Stay focused, Re realign if you need, and then one more breath, rise up, let it go, arms up. Good work, sit down, eagle on the left, bend your left elbow, Left elbow goes underneath, the left knee goes on top. Nice. 
slow and steady, settle into your eagle, elbows and knees in midline, or you can go elbows down, finding your balance. Or you can stay lifted, I know it's a lot of glute work, you got it, <laughs> good. And then left knee goes high, exhale left leg back for your eagle warrior three, stay with the arms. Amazing, already inhale rise and slowly release. Good work, arms up, crouch and curl with a ball. Rock side to side, the arms in both the right and left, and then slowly sit down. Let's use find our second bridge, I mean boat pose, excuse me. Lift those shins, lift your arms straight ahead into and in line with your shoulder sockets. And then if you can, straighten those legs, hold. For more of a challenge, lower down, half boat. Rest in the sacrum, nothing touches. Three. Good, bring it in. Interlace the, uh, big, the fingers around the big toes and extend. Listen carefully, if that doesn't work for you, just bend your knees, all right? Otherwise, you can start to straighten, lean back, find your balance. You need a bit of a lean forward, as well as a kicking of the heels to hold the pose. Okay, one more breath. Good, plant the feet, plant the hands, lift your hips, crow pose or frog pose. Crow, getting ready, balance onto your hands, shift forward. Eventually one set of toes lifts, maybe both, and your toes connect behind you. Okay, wherever you are, whether you're in crow or you're hearing frog, just listen to your breath. Good, take two more breaths. And exhale, wide leg fold, lift those hips everyone. And then stack your feet to the center, uncurl your spine all the way up, arms overhead, and exhale hands to heart. Nice, all right, walk to the middle to the front of your mat. Okay, inhale the left knee high. Exhale, open up your left hip. Don't let your foot touch your leg. And then send it back to your warrior two. Bend a little bit deeper into this right thigh. Feeling the nice balance as you extend the arms forward and you sit into your right thigh. So hold your warrior two for a moment. I'll take a little bit of a drink. Warrior two, spread your fingers, align your arms. Good, inhale reverse warrior, right arm up, and then exhale extended side angle. So please rest your right elbow, left arm can go straight up, for a bind or overhead. Take your pick where you want to be here. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the right leg, reach the right arm up. And exhale, takes you to your triangle pose. Right hand can always be supported by the shin. Make sure your left hip is really sending itself back. Lean your head back in line with your, your shoulders. Hold. Good, inhale, reverse triangle, lift up, right arm, and then take your hands to your hips. Pivot the toes to the front, or side rather, chest expansion, breathe in. Exhale, takes you down, bend your knees, hold. Let your head and neck release. Find your inversion here, you're upside down. Keep stretching out through the short, the hamstrings rather. Two more breaths. Good, inhale halfway. And then exhale, right toes to the side please. Find your skandasana to the right. So you can be as low as I am or you can be somewhat higher. You just want to listen to your body, listen to your joints. Inhale, center. 
and then Skandasana to the left. Keep a bend in the right knee, point your right toes up to the sky. You want to feel kind of the lean back of the left heel and then slowly bring yourself back to center, forward fold. Hands to your hips, rise up. And then find warrior two, facing the right side. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, bend the right knee, preparing for your half moon pose, so very slow and steady. Transfer your weight into your right leg, look for the floor with the right hand, and then lift the left leg. We've been working on different kinds of balancing today. Just breathe. The left hip stays open, left toes point to the left. That arm can go up, and then eventually everyone release. Inhale, reverse warrior. And then exhale, hands to hips, pivot forward, step to the top, and rest. Alrighty, so other side, lift your right knee up this time. Hands to hips, and then from here, externally rotate your hip without your right foot touching your left knee, or left thigh rather, like warrior, or like tree pose. Hold here, and then slide that right leg back. Eventually find yourself in your <laughs> warrior two. Sorry, let me do that again. Nice and steady, all the way back, arms out to AT, and then settle in for your warrior two. You want your left heel or right arch alignment. Spread your toes. Just listen to your breathing. Perhaps slow down the breath if you need. Keep the back leg nice and engaged. Don't be afraid to feel the strength there in the left thigh. Good. A few more breaths. Feel your shoulders, feel your back, feel your core. Inhale, reverse warrior. Bend the left knee, stretch out through the left side body, and then exhale to your extended side angle. Right arm straight up. And then any variations, whether that was the bind or reaching your right arm forward. Either way, just breathe. Nice, inhale, reverse triangle. Keep the left leg straight, please. And then exhale, left hand to your shin. And finding your triangle pose. Nice and steady here. Again, the right hand to hip for more support, or just arms up. Gaze down will be the most relaxing, gaze up will be the most challenging. Nice hands to hips, inhale reverse. And then take the hands to your hips here, straighten both legs, point the toes forward. Interlace the hands, inhale chest expansion, and exhale brings you down. Your bound forward fold. Again, listen to your body. Just see what you need here. You can always rest your arms. You can always take a twist. Hold on to your ankles, whatever feels nice. Good work. Inhale, lift halfway. And then we'll take your skandasana, but this time we'll stay higher. So let's start with your left knee, you stay low here. So just keep your feet on the ground while you bend into the left thigh and then switch to the right and then to the left. Just encouraging this lateral inner thigh stretching. Again, to the side. And then one more time each side. And then last side. Good, alrighty, center, point the toes forward, lift up, exhale, warrior two to the left side, arms out, inhale, reverse, and then exhale, keep that left knee bent, look for the floor, half moon, right hand to hip for support, or if you want, that right arm goes high. You really want to stay steady, 
stay balanced. Check in with your pose. You can always readjust. That left foot needs to point forward. Good. All right, slowly release. Inhale up, hands to the hips, pivot to the front, and then take a big step, feet together. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, crouch and curl, please. Little ball here. Maybe lift those knees, maybe reach your forehead in. And then right, look right and look left. Okay, and then slowly release, have a seat. Our third visit to your boat pose, we're gonna make it a little bit harder. So layer one here, bend knees, bend, or bent knees rather. Layer two, straight legs. Layer three to half boat. Or if you wanna make it dynamic, bring your knees in. Exhale, extend, and in, and extend. No hands, just using your core. Good, keep going. Last four, three, two, one. Interlace your hands, straighten out those legs. Hold and balance, lean back, shoulders away from the ears. Yeah, nice and long. Keep with it. <laughs> Try to stay centered. Don't fall out. And good. Release. Feet together. Hold on to your knees. Shake your shoulders up and down. And then fold forward all the way down. Your knees are wide. Your feet are together. Wherever you are, just relax. Maybe you through a series of stretches now. Inhale, straighten. Widen out the legs to your V-shape. Okay, lean back onto your elbows. Point your toes, take a fish pose. And lift yourself up. Transfer the weight into your seat. Scoot your sitting bones back. Inhale, arms up. And then please, if you can, reach for the toes. Now fold forward. A big, intense stretch for your hamstrings. If you want this more to be hamstring oriented, just straighten out the legs, please. Doing great. A few more breaths. Inhale, lift. Okay, this time, feet together. All right, scoot forward. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, try to reach for the toes. So just observe, where in your body do you feel this the most? Is it low back, hamstrings, underneath your knees? Just listen to the body here, what you need. You're allowed to, you're allowed to, have a roundedness in the back for this one. Good, a few more breaths in this straight leg forward fold, seated forward fold. And then inhale, lift. It's really nice for your back nerve muscle or your back nerves. Then right foot goes above your left knee. Inhale the left arm high. Hug your knee into your chest with your left elbow and then take a twist, gaze right. This stimulates your digestion, helps circulation. And then slowly bring it in, extend the right leg, plant your left foot to the right side. Right arm hugs your knee into your body as you twist, so gaze left. very slowly unwind right leg to the side left foot in sit up tall in your sitting bones right hand to the foot inhale the left arm up and over please oh focusing on your side bend here left seat stays down 
inhale up to center and then exhale fold forehead towards your shin and maybe eventually your forehead can touch just really maximizing the stretching the feedback of your body to your mind and then inhale lift switch extend the left leg right foot in starting with the side bend left hand sticks to the left foot right arm up and over stay seated you will likely feel this in the right side rib cage a low back area great work keep breathing inhale lift turn your chest to the leg and fold Excuse me about that, sorry. Fold forward to your center line. Maybe forehead can go to your shin. Maybe three. Nice and steady, maybe a bit deeper, forehead can touch. And then slowly lift yourself up. And from here, interlace hands to your toes again, extend the legs. And then try to maintain the same height. Let go of your arms. See how that worked for you. Cross the legs. Option for another crow. Crow to chaturanga. Frog pose. Or anything else that you need here for now. We'll meet in a downward facing dog. When you're ready, let's all make our way down dog. Inhale the right leg up and exhale to your pigeon pose. Slide your right leg. Try to let your left side thigh rest on the mat or your left frontal thigh and then come down to the elbows. Good, nice and, nice and gentle, our hip stretch now. And then remember, it doesn't matter how deep you go in this pose, just make it right for you. And then some of you will want to rise up with the hands and softly bend the left knee, taking a hold of it with your left hand. Right hand stays on the ground. Lots of different other variations that you can go from there. Good. Slowly rise. Release your variations. Tuck your left toes. Send the right leg up. And exhale, let it go, other side. Inhale, left leg. Exhale to your pigeon. Slide your right knee back. And then make sure your right toes are pointed straight back. This will maximize your hip stretch. Nice and steady, letting the left hip open up. Deep breathing, settling in. And then slowly rise. And then those that took the variation, you can bend your right knee, taking a hold of your right side, okay? And then you can also have a few different variations after that, but this is a big stretch, right? And then very slowly, everyone release, tuck the right toes, plant the hands, left leg up. And exhale, slide the feet, slide the legs. We'll let them take it down to our backs. Legs up the wall. Once you're laying down, just please roll the ankles. Okay, take the hands by your sides. And then please just bicycle the knees. Relaxing your low back after all that work. Hip flexors. And then reverse, other direction. And bring the knees in. Take a happy baby. Interlace your hands around your big toes, please. Extend the legs to your V shape. 
bring the knees together. Left leg stays down. Keep your right knee tucked in for this hamstring stretch. And then extend the right leg out to the right side. And then exhale, supine twist. Right knee goes to the left, lose weight. Close your eyes here, maybe relax a bit. Inhale, knees in. Then the right leg goes straight down. The left piece fingers wrap around your left big toe. Finding your hamstring stretch. And then that leg goes to the left. Then that left leg goes to your supine twist. Knee goes to the right, gaze left. Left arm out to the T. Dampen yourself in, please. Legs up the wall. Point and flex your toes. Okay, if there's any other final slash um, like plow pose or bridge, wheel, please take it now. I'll be here in bridge pose, just waiting. Just listen to your body, whatever else it needs to feel complete. And then very slowly bring it down. Send the legs up to the sky again. We're going to do one more thing here. Thumbs underneath your low back. Extend the legs down to your 45 degrees and hold lower core strength. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let the legs rest, arms by your sides. Tuck your shoulders down. Plant and exhale, let it go. Inhale in. And the cleanse and exhale. This is right here in your Shavasana. Relax your jaw. Relax your face. Relax your fingers. Just allow yourself to feel peaceful and rested. Let your face be soft, your jaw relaxed. And place one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Just start to move your forehead side to side here. And take a big stretch up in the arms. Roll the wrists, the ankles, and then turn towards your right side. Allow your head to rest over your elbows like a pillow. In your own timing, you'll rise yourself up to your seat. And then from here, you'll sit up tall, curl the shoulders a few times. Inhale, lift the arms. We'll take a side, or rather, seated twist towards one side. And then inhale, center, seated twist to the other. Inhale, center. Exhaling back towards the inhale practice. Bring my hands here and sit. Thank you all for being a part of that class. I apologize for the the, the sniffles, but um, I'm on the up and up. Thank you all, and.
I hope you have a wonderful weekend with all the festivities of the season. Um, stay safe out there, healthy. Thank you so much. Oh, good, Quentin. Yeah, that was a lot of hips.